The Holy Father is starring in a new film directed by award-winning director Vim Vendors. Saber escuchar. Las diferencias nos dan miedo porque nos hacen crecer. Pope Francis, a man of his word, will be released later this spring. The Vatican gave access to filmmakers for the making of the documentary. It marks the fifth anniversary of the election of Francis. Alan Holdren is the EWTN Rome Bureau Chief. Alan, this film wasn't made just about Pope Francis, but he helped. What was his involvement? So Pope Francis was, uh, was involved in every aspect of this film, you could say, Lauren, uh, in that he he provides the, the soundtrack. He is interviewed for it. He's speaking directly into the camera as if he's speaking to the spectator. It's a very compelling form of filmmaking in which he speaks about uh, the major issues that he always likes to talk about in this pontificate. He speaks about ecology, social justice. He speaks about immigration. Uh, he speaks about uh, inequality economically. Uh, and he does it in such a way to, to really bring the viewer into the Vatican Gardens where he's giving the interview or, or into his own home. Uh, it's a, a really beautiful project that they put together. This isn't the first time the Vatican has worked with this director. Tell us about their history. So the director's name is Wim Wenders, and uh, he has been involved in other projects in the past with the Vatican, including uh, the opening of the Holy Door for the Jubilee that started in 2015. Uh, the Vatican Television Center back then had 19 cameras dedicated to this huge production, and they put together a real masterpiece. Uh, it, it brought to mind also other projects that they'd done in the past, like uh, when Pope uh, Benedict XVI himself resigned, and you saw those beautiful images of him going off the Casa Gandolfo. There's another artistic production related to the Vatican that's coming out in Rome tomorrow. Tell us about The Last Judgment. Yeah, this is a, a sneak peek uh, for people who, who maybe don't want to stand in line or haven't had the chance to see in the Sistine Chapel uh, to a point that they really wanted to, or maybe would like to be educated a little bit more on uh, what all is there. So it's what they're calling an immersive spectacle. They're projecting 4K high-quality video onto the walls of an auditorium just down the street from uh, the Vatican. And they've got a uh, theater performance going on at the same time. And this is to explain uh, all of the details of uh, the Sistine Chapel. This is something that is a, a major project. It costs $9 million uh, wow. to make. Sting actually came up with the soundtrack for it. And uh, it's going wow. to be a production that goes uh, twice a day for the next year. Uh, and they're hoping to make it a fixture here in Rome. I hope I can see it, Alan, and come visit you. Alan Holdren, an EWTN Rome Bureau Chief, thank you so much. Thank you, Lauren. You're always welcome.